Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's a dude, Heat. Oh my god. Got the box spring hanging out. I am a disgusting human being. Alright. This video is called Sneakerhead Regrets. The ones that got away. I know you guys all have a pair or two that you were like, God damn it! Looking back, what did I do? Why didn't I cop them? I got two of them for you. They're both from 2014. We're almost wrapping up the year. I gotta share them with you. The first one, OG Flu Game 12s. They're also known as just the Bread 12s, I think, at that time. OG, all right, came in the box. The guy said he wore them once. You don't find these every day. It was something I'd love to add to my freaking collection, okay? This is the part where you're gonna be like, wow, dude's an idiot. $30 for this pair. What's even worse is that I didn't even get them. You're probably thinking, Heat, kill yourself, man. Okay, here's the problem. Actually, I'll just run you through the scenario. The dude had OG 12s, bread 12s, whatever, $30. He lived three hours away from me, okay? At that time, this is around February 2014, I didn't have access to a car. And I told him, look, man, I need you to hang on to these. I'm going to cop them 100%. Just hold on to them. He wouldn't ship them to me, but he showed me enough pictures. I'm like, okay, you're legit. He seemed like an old dude, all right? Photos were taken upside down. You know, he had like clutter and crap in his house. I think he was like an old dude that just had a few sneakers from back in the day, the glory days. Anyway, point is, guy lived three hours away from me. He lived in Niagara Falls. If you guys haven't heard of Niagara Falls, beautiful, beautiful water flowing. Great place to bring a girl, your family, whatever. I live in Toronto. That's a good three-hour drive away. Okay, so I told him, look, man, hang on to these, whatever. I'm going to grab them, okay? Around that time, about a month later, we're in contact. We're, we're, you know, we're shooting this shit over email, talking about shoes and all sorts of stuff. He used to play ball back in the day, whatever. Around that time, I had my email freaking hacked. I get this notification on Hotmail. Hey, your email has been uh, has suspicious activity. It's been accessed in Russia. Please change your password. I'm like, oh, okay, goddamn, the damn Russians. I go ahead and change it. The dudes changed my security question. All right, to some obscure question I couldn't answer. Point is, called called MSN or whatever. Tried to contact them over email. Couldn't get through, couldn't, couldn't figure out. So that email is still stuck in the abyss. I can't even access it. But the guy's contact information is on there. So, I mean, that's the first, I guess it's kind of out of my, my uh, it's kind of out of my uh, hands. But the point is, I, I fucked up. I didn't get the pair. If you find a guy and you're in Niagara Falls, ask every old man you see, do you have a pair of OG 12s? Can I buy them off you right now for $30? Cash in hand. That's the first regret. The second one happened around June or July of this year. I went to a swap, meet and greet kind of thing. Um, some like musician dude was there, I don't know, but it was also sneaker related. And there was a guy, this guy was super desperate. He, he might have been a little bit of a crackhead, I'm not sure, but he had authentic LeBron 12 or LeBron 11 um, King's Crown. Okay, they got the gold speckling and all that. That shoe retails for around $275, $300, all right? This guy started off the day announcing to everyone he won $150 for them. I think that's still a good price. By the end of the day, the dude was like, I will take $85. Nobody was really looking to buy anything. I had these shoes in hand. He told me that personally. He wasn't like announcing it to everyone, all right? But he was telling me, dude, I'll take like anything, like 85 bucks right now. I didn't even have the freaking money on me. I'm like, you know what, man? I thought about it. This is my size. I can go over to the bank probably back in like an hour. He's like, yeah, I'm here for the next few hours. <sighs> Point is, I chickened out like a loser. Went home. I was like, you know what? I don't need any more shoes. No, I'm trying to sell shoes. I'm trying to get rid of my stuff. I was in a weird point, point in my life. I was like, damn, what am I doing? I'm collecting all these stupid shoes. 24 hours pass. I wake up. Cold sweat. I need those shoes. I could never find this guy again. I asked a buddy that was at the event. He's like, I have no idea who the hell that guy was. Um, I don't even know who you're referring to. The guy was a damn ghost. He was a spirit. All right. Point is, I missed out on two huge cops purchases, steals, which I think might still be out there. I don't think the King's Crown are, but the other ones are still out there. So those are my two regrets of 2014. Passing or kind of losing out or missing out on those, those OG 12s like an idiot and passing on those King's Crown for like 85 bucks. That is unheard of. Anyway, 
That's it. I'm really depressed now. But hey, I know you guys have your own regrets, not even for 2014, but in general. Let me know down below in the comment section what shoes did you pass on? Do you have any regrets in the in your sneaker uh, career where you had an opportunity to get something for a steal and you just passed on it? Let me know down below comment section. I got a really special video dropping tomorrow. Top five shoes of 2014. I'm your dude Heat signing out. Peace.